Hi everyone, it's uh, Mark here from Healthy Fresh Homegrown and uh, I've decided to do a bit of a uh, urban homestead tour to show you where things are at with uh, new growth and uh, some of the things that I've already planted uh, now at the end of March. So we'll start off with raspberries which you can see right behind me. So the raspberries are doing well, as you can see, they're getting some new green growth and uh, starting to look pretty good, they seem to be quite healthy. And uh, these are the canes that I had uh, shortened and pruned down in the winter. And they will produce the first crop of raspberries sometime hopefully in June. And the new ones will actually come up from the bottom canes that will then produce another crop sometime in early fall. And usually we get raspberries until about uh, November before the first frost. I have to do a little bit of weeding in here, obviously. Um, the weeds have taken over a little bit. So that's one of the projects I have in mind for the next few days. And then above the raspberries, we've got our peach tree on the southwest side of the house. And as you can see, it's pretty well covered in beautiful pink blossoms. And so we're hoping we'll get lots of peaches again this year. Do a quick pan now over the raised beds. I'll go a little bit closer. But as you can see, there's a bit of green in there. And uh, while most of them are still fairly empty, We've got some seedlings in the greenhouse coming along that'll be planted in there once they're ready. I've got my patch of uh, Japanese green onions, which are still growing strong after about three years being in the same spot. And uh, we'll leave them here and uh, continue to enjoy them for who knows how many more years. And then my crop of kale that's overwintered, it's getting new leaves and it's uh, starting to uh, get uh, to the point where we can actually start harvesting more of them. Occasionally in the raised beds you'll see these little green things coming up. It looks like grass but they're actually uh, garlic and I just planted them randomly here and there on the edges. And then we also have uh, still some cabbage which aren't really for making any heads but um, they're still there and we can at least eat the leaves. We've got some kohlrabi left which probably need to be eaten fairly soon and uh, these are the purple colibri kohlrabi. Something new that's been planted are snap peas. These were started in the greenhouse and uh, they were transplanted here a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a week ago I think, and uh, they're growing strong. In your bed I've got this big stand of walking onions, which are basically green onions that form these little bulbs on the end and then they actually kind of walk through the garden. So I got to keep the patch contained but uh, again there's much more uh, availability now for uh, green onions. And then this is actually my perennial bed and there is asparagus in there. I haven't seen it yet and uh, we've got one lone celery that actually survived the winter even though we had some frost and some snow and I've got some more celery in the greenhouse which I'll actually put uh, all along this bed one. It's mainly empty but it does have some Chinese broccoli or gailan seedlings that I threw in here and uh, as you can see it's also been covered with a layer of compost. Compost that I had to buy in bags but um, it's uh, good quality compost so it'll help improve the fertility of the soil. Now this bed is another bed that has still some stuff left over from winter time. Um, this I believe is some chard Underneath that compost has been planted some spinach. We've got a patch of parsnip still, which we need to start digging out and start eating to make the bed ready for new stuff. And then we've got the occasional carrot here and there that's overwintered as well. And then we've also got our patch of leeks, which some of them are a little bit on the thin side, but 
we can still harvest them and eat them. We'll just need to grab a few of them at a time. And then the pride and joy of the garden really is our plum tree. As you can see, it's covered in all these white blossoms. And while not every single one of them, of course, will turn into a plum, we've at least got a decent amount that uh, even if only half get pollinated or less, and some fall off from the winds and stuff that we have in springtime usually, we'll at least get some plums. And the other fruit trees, such as this apple tree, it's uh, starting to leaf out, and it'll also have some blossoms with uh, the promise of apples. Here's a close-up of the blossoms on the plum tree. It's a little bit windy right now, so but I've seen a lot of bees going into the tree here and pollinating the blossoms, so I think we're pretty good for this summer's harvest. And I've got my grapevines here, and they are doing well. I gave them a really hard prune, tied them up to the arbor here, and there's some buds on. Hopefully you can see that one. and they're going to be probably opening fairly soon and making leaves and then eventually grapes of sorry bunches of grapes guys are coming back and the oregano is doing okay it's going to be producing some new growth soon it's nice to have fresh herbs oh, entering the greenhouse there's my new healthy fresh homegrown apron which i hope to use when i do some of the more messy work in the garden. That's available on my website if you want to get one. And then I've got my raised bed here which I just topped off with some compost and uh, it's got just some stuff that I kind of rescued from the garden. Uh, I believe that one is a broccoli and there's quite a few um, celery. There's one remaining pepper, which I'm not sure if it really survived. Let's see if it gets some new green growth. And a couple of more uh, broccoli or cauliflower plants. I forget which one is which now. And then some more smaller plants. And these are just temporarily in here and uh, will eventually be removed to make way for tomatoes. I also have my strawberry planters in here. And as you can see, we've got one strawberry flower, We've got one actual strawberry where it was a flower and now it's actually developing into a strawberry. Still needs a little bit of time. And I've got two of these planters here with strawberries. And they're in a nice sunny spot in the afternoon. And then this is a, my main seeding spot. Um, I've got some stuff going, some leaks in the back some lettuce seedlings, and uh, some Chinese cabbage, Napa cabbage, and broccoli, cauliflower. Some stuff has just been seeded. And we've also got some broad beans that are coming up well, some beet seedlings, and also some onion seedlings. So as you can see, things are looking pretty good. Um, we're getting some sunny weather today, which is one of the reasons why I made this video because we've got some rain coming. But the rain is welcome too because obviously it keeps things moist and uh, when I'm transplanting seedlings and that I don't need to worry about keeping them watered. So we're looking forward to a bit of rain, obviously. And uh, so anyways, we were still in the process of obviously filling the garden beds and still quite a bit there to do. But um, I'm sure that uh, by next month we'll have a lot more to show. And so I'll try to do another tour maybe at the end of next month or in early May to show you what kind of progress we've had. Anyways, so I just want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tour. It gives you some inspiration, some motivation, and hopefully also some ideas of what you can do in your garden. And uh, if you liked the video, please um, give it uh, a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions about the video or you have questions in general, um, please pop them down in the comments and I'll answer them for you. And also um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, that way you'll get notified when there's new videos coming out such as this one. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye.